It's been three years since flames from a wildfire destroyed the infrastructure of the Yakima Greenway Visitor Center. And after years of trying to rebuild thousands of dollars worth of damage, the heart of the Greenway is back in business. Reporter Kirstia Sheffield joins the celebration of the new Visitor Center and learns how it will be better serve the Yakima community. The Greenway means so much to so many people, whether they use it for exercise, for recreation and bringing their family, having a class reunion, or just having some peace and quiet. And so a visitor center like this will allow them to come and experience even more of what the Greenway has to offer for them. For decades now, the Yakima Greenway has been the glue that connects and holds our community together. But in 2020, when a blaze damaged the Greenway playground, along with two other buildings, including the visitor center, that accessibility to the miles of trail inevitably changed. And today, community leaders are celebrating that change as a pathway to a new future for the Greenway. We're really working hard to put a lot of history about the Greenway and the Yakima River in this building. So those folks who are new to our community that don't have an understanding of why all this was here and how it all got built, they'll know and they'll understand just how special of a place the Yakima Greenway is. After two and a half years of construction, the new visitor center is a major upgrade from the previous center, which was a donated home back in the 90s. It was a very generous gift and, and served its purpose really well in providing a space where people could come and register for events and, and that type of thing. But over the years, once again, it became a little bit inadequate to the needs that our community had. This new building costs just under a million dollars to complete. And unlike the older visitor center, this offers a space for community members to learn about the history of the Greenway and the river, as well as inspire greener thinking. The visitor center will have 39 solar panels donated by Pacific Power to help power the building. Community members will be able to see in real time how many kilowatts of power the panels are generating and just how many trees that means have been planted, how the reduction in our carbon footprint has been reduced. So it's really giving us a chance to educate the public more on those types of topics. Thanks, Kirstia. And the hours of the centre have not been established as yet, but they say during the spring they hope to have it open four days a week. May the new year be blessed with good tidings. Till the next time I see you again. If we must say goodbye, let the spirit.